Okay, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. All right. So today, topic we are going to talk about present continuous tense, but it's not about what we're doing right now. We are talking about something that we're gonna plan in the future. Okay, this is about future, but we use present continuous tense to talk about future. Okay, so that is very simple. Okay, I will show you what is a, a difference between like present continuous tense and present continuous tense that meaning about the future. Example, tomorrow, I'm going to school tomorrow. I'm going to school tomorrow. I'm planning my my lesson plan. I'm planning my lesson plan for tomorrow. So that means we're talking about tomorrow, not right now, right? I'm going to visit my grandma this this year, this uh, like the end of the years. So this is about future. She is eating cake, whatever. She's eating cake after finish lunch. So that means she's not yet eating cake, but after finish lunch, she is about going to eat cake. So that is about future. Okay, so we are talking about future, but in the contents of present continuous tense. Okay, everyone know that present continuous tense is very easy. Subject plus with is am uh, plus with verb ing, right? Okay, I will show you on the screen. So you can see screen. Yeah, you are and student book. Pretty obvious. This is not the one. Okay, that's what we talk about today. Okay, what is a present continuous tense? Present because we talk about definite future plan, like future, not now, but the future. Tomorrow, next month, next week, next weekend, next Friday, next Monday, whatever. We're gonna. Uh, have a look at the structure first. Subject with its MR, we have verb ING form. All right, look at this. Future plan and arrangement. What is an arrangement? Arrangement is called like uh, your schedule on your schedule book. Like uh, on Friday, I'll have to meet my, I'm going to meet my teacher on Friday. So that's what we call arrangement. การจัดการ wang pen away arrangement. Okay. So this is about future plan and arrangement. So look at the example. We we are meeting at ten o'clock. We are meeting at ten o'clock, but not yet ten o'clock. So maybe at the moment the one who's speaking it's around eight o'clock. Okay, we're meeting at ten o'clock. Ten o'clock is the future, right? So we're talking about now at eight o'clock. So 10 o'clock is the future. So if you want to make a negative form, I'm not doing my anything. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. What are you doing today? What are you doing today? What are you going to do after lunch? What are you going to uh, play after dinner, whatever? So before we're going to do this, look at this. Future arrangement or future plans. We can use the present context to talk about the future arrangement. I'm visiting my friend tomorrow. Tomorrow is a future, right? Sorry, should we write this? This is a future one. We aren't going to school today. Yeah, today is a father day. Yesterday, actually. Yesterday was a father day, right? So we aren't going to school to work today. We are, what are you doing tonight? What are you doing tonight after the classroom? After the class, like online class. How to use it? We use an, it's, or are an ing form. I'm having a party for my birthday. I'm having a party for my birthday. My brother is staying home tonight. Staying home tonight. They're going holiday on next weekend. For negative, we just use not. 
I'm not doing anything this evening. She isn't meeting her friends tomorrow yet. Tomorrow. This evening is the future. We aren't going to school next week. For question that we shouldn't order for M, it or her and the person. Are you? Are you playing Batman tomorrow? Are you going to school tomorrow? Yes, I am going to school tomorrow. What's he doing next Monday? What are they going this weekend? What are they going? Sorry, where are they going this weekend? All right, so this is very easy for you. Now, before that, we can look at the book first. Sorry. Come on, you're with the first one. I'm going to read number one for you, okay? I'm meeting Ben at one o'clock this afternoon. Can you look at number two for me, please? Come on. We are catching a train at half past three. Very good. We're catching a train at half past three. So that's mean. What does a half past three mean? What is it? Like another way to say half past three. So that's be five, three, right? Half past three. So five, three. Right, look at number three. Uh, after, after, um, oh, sorry, after Kohom is always be pairing, right? Go ahead. Are you going to visiting your oh, grandparent you, you at the school? We don't use are you going to resist? No. We say are you visiting? Are you resisting? Okay. Are you visiting your grandparents after school? Okay. Are you visiting your grandparents after school? So if you want to use that sentence, Helen, you have to use this. Are you going to visit? So that's mean to with both first word are you going to visit you can use this one it's okay it's fine it's correct but this one are you visiting your grandparents after school this is a correct one because the verb that we can see here is visit okay not going to so look at number four after that sunrise should be the next one of four look at number four the student are playing are playing in a football match at two o'clock. Okay, the children playing in a football match at two o'clock. Five. Um, who is next? Number five. After sunrise should be for far right? Go. What film are you? Okay. What film are you? What film are you watching at the cinema tonight? Okay. What are you watching at the cinema tonight? So, Pong Pong, right? Number six, please. Yeah. Yeah. Going to a cafe with his friend for his birthday lunch. Okay, good. Dad, so dad is going to cafe with his friends for his birthday lunch. All right. What are they doing at 8 o'clock? At 8 o'clock, they are living school. Katun, can you please answer me? My question, look at 10 o'clock. What are they doing at 10 a.m. in the morning? They yeah. are going to school. Is it going to school? 10 a.m.? No, that should be 8 a.m. No, I don't think it's 8 10. Okay, look at this. The first one live in the school this one they are they are visiting elephant enclosure
Okay. Now, can you uh, look at the poem? I want you to question at a uh, half path 11 to Perry. Perry, I'm going to answer your question. What are they doing at how past 11, how part 11? 11 a.m. Okay. At how past 11 a.m. They are feed. You say put on G after feed, feeding. Feeding the penguins. Okay, feeding the penguin doesn't mean give you the, the penguin food. All right, next one. Uh, Pelin, can you question to Sunrise? What are they doing at 12? Half past 12. Okay, half past 12 or 12.30? At half past 12, they are eating lunch. Having lunch. You can say it to class, it's fine. But having lunch. Yes, that's the correct one. What about Sanbra? Can you please question to Fafar? Look at half past one. What are they doing at half past one? At half past one, they are they are washing the dolphin display. Display. Okay. How far? A question to Pang Pong. Look at half past three. What are they doing at three thirty? Okay, say so three thirty. At three thirty, they go back to school. Oh no, they are going going home. Is it? They are going home. Okay. Hello, Gun. All right. Hello. Yes. Uh, Katun, I need you to read this for me, please. She's ready. No, uh, I mean, I'm uh, reading this. Uh, on uh, next week, it's very busy for me. On Monday, we are going to the science museum with the crew. On Tuesday, our Grandparents are visiting us on on Wednesday. I'm going tennis on Thursday. My sister is talking me shopping on Friday. I am staying at home. Katoin, can you pronounce this one again? These two. What is the first one? Can you read it again? Bro Busy. Busy. Is it busy? Okay. And second one? Number two? How taking. Do you yeah, taking. Good. Okay. Next weekend is busy. What does it mean, busy? Can anyone tell me in busy meaning time, please? I don't have time. So I'm busy right now. I'm teaching. Come on, what do you say again? Mm, what does it you, mean? Yeah, busy, like you are not have a free time. So you cannot go anywhere. You have to do something like doing your work, whatever. Okay, she uh Gun, can you please read number one for me, please? She really busy. Busy next week. Very good. She's very busy next week. Oh, I'm looking at B. On Monday, she is going to the art museum. False. What? What? Is a grandma. Sorry, what, what museum is that? This book is grandma. It's not the book. Not the book. You don't have to check on the book. Uh, come on. You don't have to pronounce she is. She's going to the art. The art museum, okay? 
Okay. Perrin, look at the cat, please. On Tuesday, her aunt and uncle are visiting. Is it correct? Who's going to visit them on Tuesday? Grandparent. So this should be four, right? Excellent. Send Brian. Look at the dog, please. On Thursday, her sister is taking her to the cinema. Okay. Is it true or false? Um, Thursday, my sister is taking me to me. Shopping. Yes. So this one should be false. False. Safa, look at number letter E, sorry. On Friday, she's staying at home. It's true. Okay. I think you should not pronounce E's. No E's. Okay. On Friday, yes. she's staying at home. That's fine. Okay. Math them off. Look at this. So it's about reading. Uh, it's a lot of them, so you have to check very uh, carefully. So if so, can you see? Can you see clearly? Uh, Pavin? can you see clearly? Right. Okay. Good. Perfect. <laughs> the first one. I'm trying to spend for holidays soon. I've got the plane tickets. Okay. This I've got a plane tickets. No. Uh, look at number number two. Uh, he's staying at his friend's house tonight. Uh, who is that? After Bang Bang, right? Can you read it for me, please? Number two. He that staying at his friend's house tonight. Okay. You think which one is the bad answer for this one? His parents say it's okay. okay. His parents say said. We say his parents said it's okay. Okay, let's see. I don't know, is it correct or not? <clears throat> Next one, after somebody, I think you forgot to mute yourself. Uh, next one, after Bang Pong is cartoon, look at next one. She's going to the dentist next week. Okay. So what is the best answer? She got. She's got an appointment. Appointment. She's got an appointment like, oh, I'm going to see a doctor at 10 a.m. in the morning on Friday, something like that. So we call apartment. Oh, sorry, appointment. Next one, uh, Kun. A meet in my thing after school. School. Okay, I'm meeting my friend after school. So, we, we agree to meet at the park. Good job. Good, good job. Okay, we agree to meet at the park. Back to go home, look at next one. They are having a barbecue at the weekend. Don't you remember that I told you you don't have to pronounce is or are when they made the chart like this? They having, see. They having a barbecue at the weekend. The weekend, yes. They invite lots of people 
yeah Just invite invite they invite a lot lots of people after that helen we are seeing the new superman film tonight we have tickets for half past six okay half past six is <laughs> very good so i mean half past six instead obviously half part of 18. I don't think this is going to be correct one. All right, next one. Um, Sunrise, please. My mom is helping me make a cake tomorrow. We both in both the we bought the ingredient. Ingredient. The yeah, ingredients. What is it in Thai? Like, uh, what do you need to make a uh, cake? Like ingredient things. And the last one, so far. Our class is visiting. Is visiting a museum next week. Our teacher has book a bus. Our teacher has book a bus. Okay, so this is not in the topic about present continuous tense, but I want you to look at this. The responding, the respondent. I want to tell. I want you to tell me which sentence is the past simple tense. Which sentence is the past simple tense? Which sentence is perfect tense? Which sentence is perfect tense? Can anyone tell me which sentence is a past simple tense? Can anyone tell me which sentence is a past simple tense? And which sentence is a perfect tense? Mm, his parents said is. Okay, is past simple. Okay, this is a past simple. Good job. His parents said it's okay. Good. What about the other? There is another sentence is a past simple. This is not about the present continuous sentence, but let's see. This is very easy. Which one is another past simple tense? Can we want... agree to meet at the park? Good. We agree to meet at the park. That is a past simple tense. So the other are perfect tense. She has got. They have invited. I have got. We have bought our teacher has book is all participle sentence okay we have oh this one is not this is a present simple we have tickets present simple okay so if you know these sentences are in the like a uh, their correct uh, form is very easy for you this is not about the story actually okay look at this Make it right. I'm having a party for my birthday. Look at B. Who is who is next? Uh, after is it Sunbright, right? You just finished, right? Then it should be far far after Sunbright. Sunbright, uh, sorry, far far. Should look at B, please. Me. Yes. Can you look at B, please? She does a science test tomorrow. Okay. You have to make it correct. She. She doesn't. She doing a science science test tomorrow. Good. Uh, cartoon. Oh, sorry, pom pom. Sorry, I'm sorry. See cat. 
He say is no to uh, no no. This... Are we visiting grandma tomorrow? Good job visiting. So this is not a this is not a a grandma book or a workbook. Okay, I will tell you if uh, if that one is the right one. Okay, uh, cartoon. Look at the dog. They are not going to school next week. Good. Back to Kun. Kun. My bottle is taking taking me to a football match on Saturday. Next one. Oh. We having a picnic on Sunday. Helen. I'm looking after my friend's cat at the weekend. Okay. The last one, Sun Bright. What is you what are you do what are you doing tonight? Okay. Alright, so this is very easy. So then you can look at the, your workbook then, okay? Get your workbook. Uh, before that, can anyone tell me what does it mean look after? Look after. Can anyone tell me what does it mean look after? Do that. Yes, taking care. Look after. That's mean take care. Okay, example, I'm looking off looking after my cat at home. So I take care of my cat. I'm looking after looking after my grandparents. I take care of my parents, my grandparents. All right, so now this is your workbook, Sunbright. On the page number nine. Okay. So look at the first one. Read in circle. Hi, Maggie. I'm going I'm not gonna read those one. Are you coming to the art club meeting tomorrow after school? Okay, after that, okay, look at number two. Who is next after Pelin? Should be you. Oh sorry, it should be Fafa, right? Yeah, Fafa. After Sun Brian. Sun uh sorry, Fafa, can you read after this? And uh, after 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 this one until here. Okay. Read it. Yeah, read it. Um, meeting. Lela. Le meeting. Lela into. In town. Do you want to come to, Ketting? Good. Okay, next one. Is it bump on? Look at number three. Can you finish until here? Say no, sorry. No, sorry. I. Okay. I'm not coming. To art club. Thank you. Katun. Mom. Mom are tying me to new town at 4 p.m. Wait for o'clock. Yeah, mom. E is not R. 
Okay. Mom is a singular one. Kun. We. We. We have. Having. We have Tea. Tea with, with my friend. Ma. Can ma. But I, but I like to see. Layla too. Layla too. Okay, go on, finish it. What time are you meeting her? Good job. What time are you? Okay. Complete the sentence with the present continuous tint. My cloud is having a school trip tomorrow. Meet a sender. Uh, look at number two, um, Pelin. Mr. Sanders. Okay, Mr. Sander, us at the station at nine o'clock. So what are they going to do? Meeting. Yeah, can you read it again? Met Miss Mr. Sanders. Mr. Sanders meeting us at the train station at the station at nine o'clock. Okay, thank you. Look at number three, Sun Brian. And we And we fish, fishing, catch up, a uh, catching yet, fishing the train fifteen minutes later. Okay, thank you. And Fafa, the tour, the tour of the art gallery. Start starting at nine forty five. Okay, the tour of the art gallery is starting. Okay. It start is starting at nine forty five. Okay, thank you. Bang Bang, at twelve o'clock. At twelve o'clock. We, uh, we we are have having lunch having lunch in the having having lunch in, in the garden. Okay, thank you. And after that, uh, Katun. We are taking a boat trip on on the river. That will be fun. Is your is your camera on? Okay, thank you. Next one, back to Kun. We. We. We are going back to the, the, st hmm? the station. The station at five o'clock and my dad. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> oh, I'll finish it. And my dad meeting me. At how how past five, I think it will be a really good day. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're about to finish this. Look at number three. Write question and answer. 
Where is Tony visiting with his crush room? Where is Tony visiting with his crush? He's visiting an art gallery. Look at number two. Perrin. What time are they meeting? Good job. What time are they meeting? They're meeting at nine o'clock. At nine o'clock. Number three. Sam Brian. How they travel? How are they traveling? Travel. Traveling. How are they traveling? Is it traveling? Okay. They, they're, they're traveling. They are traveling by. They're traveling by. By what? Car, train, bus. By uh, train. Good. Yeah, catching. A train. I think better to say it. You, or you can say they can travel by a train. It's fine. It's correct. Uh, next one. Uh, four. So far. Where they have lunch? No. Where are? Where are they have lunch? No. Where are they having lunch? Where are they having lunch? Where are they? They having lunch in the in yard in, in garden. garden. Yes, they're having lunch in garden. Number five, Bampan. What? So they is a plural form. Is or are. Unmute yourself. Okay, good. What? What? They doing after lunch. Okay, what are they doing after lunch? Okay, what are they doing? They? They. They taking a boat trip on the river. Okay, they're taking boat trip, right? They take in boat trip. Katun, Sunny, the last one. What time Tony's dad meeting him? Okay, what time is we say what time is what time is Tony Tony's dad, dad meeting him? Good job. What time? He is meeting Tony. Sorry, meeting Tony at half past half past five. Okay. What time is Tony's dad meeting him? He's meeting Tony at five thirty or half past five. All right. Finish. If you cannot see anything, I will show on big screen like this. Okay.
I will agree. Oh, sorry. I will give you a break a song until your song finish. Mm. Okay, welcome. I want you to listen to this audio and try to read after. Okay, try to read after. Listening eight. Listen and read. Listening eight. Listen and read. Where does Harry want to go with Ben? Hi Ben. What are you doing today? I'm catching a bus at ten fifteen into town with Fred. Do you want to come? We're meeting Jack at eleven o'clock at the bus station. Then at twelve o'clock we're going to an art exhibition at our friend's art club. In the afternoon. Fred is watching a film at the cinema. He already has tickets, but there are no tickets left, so we can't go. I'm not doing anything. Do you want to watch a DVD at my house instead? See you soon, Harry. Okay. What do you try to do? Try to read faster, pronunciation correctly. Okay. It's just a bit very, very. It's. British is very difficult, okay. But if you listen carefully, British is very very fun. I mean, I love British the way they pronounce the words. <laughs> we'll try listen again one more time. Listening eight, listen and read. Where does Harry want to go with Ben? Hi Ben, what are you doing today? I'm catching a bus at ten fifteen into town with Fred. Do you want to come? We're meeting Jack at eleven o'clock at the bus station. Then at twelve o'clock, we're going to an art exhibition at our friend's art club. In the afternoon, Fred is watching a film at the cinema. He already has tickets, but there are no tickets left, so we can't go. I'm not doing anything. Do you want to watch a DVD at my house instead? See you soon, Harry. Okay, hi Ben. What are you doing today? I'm catching a bus at ten fifteen into town with Ben Fred. Do you want to come? We are meeting Jack at eleven o'clock at bus station. Then at twelve o'clock, we are going to art exhibition to our friend's art club. In the afternoon, Fred is watching a film at the cinema. We he already has tickets, but there are no tickets left, so we don't we can't go. I'm not doing anything. Do you want to come? Do you want to watch a DVD at my house in state? See you soon, Harry. I want to hear someone reading this. Uh, let's start from the one I want to hear. Um, Juby Sunbright and Katun. Sunbright first. Go ahead. Hi Ben. What are you doing today? Um, cashing. A bus and ten fifteen into town with Fred. Do you want to come? We are meeting Jack at eleven o'clock at the bus station. Then at twelve o'clock, we are going to an art. Exhibition, exhibition, and our friends are crap. Thank crop. you, thank you, Sam Brian. Katun, finish it. In the afternoon, Fred is watching a film at the cinema. He he already already has tricky. But there are on there are not tricky. Well, how do you pronounce one ticket? Ticket. Left. Left. So we can't go. I am not doing anything. Do you want to watching a DVD? 
the at my house in state in street in state in street see you soon harry okay thank you all right look at this ben started and maybe he write a letter to harry so what is a letter what is the exhibitions mean like a book exhibitions I don't know what is that. Is it it is a gun? Is it how do how do you write the time? I don't think it's is it talks a gun. How do you how do he write it talks a gun? Like a uh, exhibitions is like a big hole that uh exhibitions. I don't know how to pronounce. okay, but you know it a gun, right? Okay, and this one in state, what does it mean? Right. Instead of watching the movie at the cinema, what about watching DVD at my home instead? Okay, I want you practicing about reading. Sunrise, you are not yet very good about reading. I want you to try to read the book, okay? Maybe next time we'll ask you to read again, to read it again. Okay, now what about your grammar book? Complete the first conversation use the person simple or person continuous tend and the verbs in the box. Look at number one. Go on, can you read number one for me? Go on. Go on. Can you read number one for me, please? Are you? Are you look? Looking, looking for anything. Anything. Special. 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 Good. Are you looking for anything special? Look at number two. Go home. Does your brother always? Do a lot of exercise. Does your brother always do a lot of exercise? Is it correct? Mm. Yes, he. Mm. He what? He. Mm. Mm. Ah. You think what's the best answer? Yeah. What should say he wants, right? It's the correct one, right? He he have to be. Can you say he have to be? I think. Mm. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Can you read it for me, please? Yes, he has to be an at least at least at the moment. Okay, at least it's mean the sport player. At least is sport player. Number three. Uh parent, look at number three. I need Jamie this evening. Okay, I'm meeting Jamie this evening. Jamie? Jamie? Uh, I? I don't know him. Yeah, I don't know him. Good. Four. Uh, Sunbright? I I I have I am I am not feel 
very, I'm not very well. Yeah. I'm not very well. Okay, what is the question? Are you well? Are you are you have having are you having a stomach ache? Okay, are you having stomach ache? Come home. I think number two is not correct. So we're gonna fit this together. Okay, do is correct, right? Does your Blothers, okay. This one, this one finish. This one finish. He trained. He trained to be. Okay. Can you can you read the game out time? Yes. He trained to be and at least. And at least. At the moment. Okay, he trains to be. This is, should be train is a verb, okay? Training, like training. Next one. Write sentences and questions. Use the present symbol of present continuous tense. Moms always shop at the market. Moms always shop at the market. Number two. After sunrise and uh, should be for fun. Look at number two, please. Act in in act in acting in the play at the moment. I I'm I acting. I'm acting in the play at the moment. Good job. Papa, look at number three. Judy and Tiny. Tina. Tina. Are do a are doing a jigsaw. Jigsaw at the moment. Yep, jigsaw at the moment. Good. Uh, number four. Katun. That player never never score any goal. Good. This one is a presence importance. Never score. We put S upper score because the player is a singular one. Number five. Uh, good. Sydney. Sydney. Is. Is doing his. Right? right, right now. Good. Number six. Um, go on. Why is Kim laughing now? Okay. Why is Kim laughing now? In question mark. Seven. Very. The boys. Me. Yes, seven. The boys playing the football right now. The boys are playing football. So I'm writing the last one, please. Right now. Number eight. What? 
what we are. Then so look at this one. Often. What to? What to? What to? We often need. Okay, you don't have to change anything. This is not continuous. Then this is a simple question. What to we often need? What does it mean to? Can one tell me to? What is a to? Upakon, right? What to we need for like example? What to we often need for playing football? Like playing football. We need a goal. We need a ball or something like that. We need a sock. Or, I don't know what's the case. Finish. Let me check. Is there anything? Is there any another? Russian to use a past. This is a past simple and past continuous tense. There's another one. Skew term. Look at the stories. Show the entire. Hmm. There is a. It was some version. Lesson five. Student book. Okay. Everyone finished this? So now it's about reading. It's about reading. Everyone finished, right? So now turn your book on the page number 12. We are going to read this together, but I'm going to make a, like a lines as everyone can read it. Okay. So I'm going to read first. So you're going to reason first and you point by your finger. If you have book, put it and then try to read after. Listening 9. Listen and read. Island Adventure Max was staying with his cousin Jeff by the sea. Every day, the boys went to the beach and played football or went fishing. But one day, they stood on the sand and stared across the sea at a small island in the distance. No one lived on the island and the boys had never been there. I'd like to Explore that island, said Max. Let's borrow my brother's boat and go there, said Jeff. We'll be back before he finds out. The boys rowed to the island and left the boat on the sand. They climbed trees, swam in the river and found some caves. At last, they decided to go home. But when they went back to the boat, it wasn't there. The boys were frightened. What are we going to do? asked Max. Nobody knows we're here. Let's make a fire, said Jeff. Someone will see the smoke. But we haven't got any matches, said Max. We can hit two rocks together to make a fire. Come on, it's easy. But it was dark before the boys had a fire. Suddenly, there was a splash of water. The boys stared across the sea. A dark shape was coming towards them. Run! shouted Max. Hey! said a voice. Don't you want to go home? Jeff's brother was standing on the beach next to the missing boat. How did you find us? asked Jeff in amazement. I saw the boat floating near the shore, so I swam out to get it. Then I saw your smoke, and I realized what happened. That was lucky, said Jeff. Yes, but next time, said Jeff's brother as they rode back, 
Tell me before you take my boat out, and always tie it to a tree. Today we are just finished reading, okay? Everyone have to read your own part. Everyone had to read your own part. Look at this an island avenger. Matt was staying with his cousin Jeb by the sea. Every day, the boy went to the beach and played football or went fishing. But one day, they stood on the sand and stared across the sea at the small island in the distance. No one lived on the island and the boys had never been there. I like to explore that island, said Max. Let's bother my brother Bob and go there, said Jeff. We'll be back before he find off. The boy rode in the island and left the boat on the sand. They climbed trees, swam in the river, and found some caves. At last, they decided to go home, but when they went back to the boat, it wasn't there. The boy was frightened. What are we going to do? Asked Mac. Nobody know we're here. Let's make a fire, said Jeff. Someone will see the smoke. But we haven't got any matches, said Mac. We can hit two logs together to make fire. Come on, it's easy. But it was dark before the boy had a fire. Suddenly, there was a spread of water. The boy stayed across the sea. A dark shape was coming toward them. Run, shouted Max. Hey, said a voice. Don't you come to go home? Don't you, sorry, don't you want to come to go home? Jeb's brother was standing on the beach next to the mason boat. How did you find us? Our Jeb in the amazement. I saw the boat floating near the shore. So I swam out to get it. Then I saw your smoke and I realized what happened. That was lucky, said Jeb. Yeah, but next time, said Jeb's brother, as they roll back, tell me before you take my boat out and over tight into a tree. Okay, everyone, I want you to start from Kahan. So you are going to make to read it for me. Uh, let me see. I think it should be like four sentence. Kahan. Is that you? One, two, three, four. It should be next after Kahom. It one, two, three, four, five. Sorry. This is Sunbright. And after Sunbright is Fafar, right? And then after Fafar is Pangpon. After Pangpon is Katun. And the last one it should be Kun. I need to hear Kun first. I need to hear Kun first. Because Kun will take time. Kun. Can you read this? Then. Then I have you, your mock, mock. and mock. mock. And I realize. You realize what happened. What happened? What happened? What happened? That was that was that what we lucky lucky yes Jim. yes but next time in Jim. brother 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 as as who back who went back to me be before you take my boat um, and out and, and away away tie tie it to a tree tie it to a tree good job 
Okay. Go on, start from you. Max was staying with his cousin, Dev, by the sea. Every day, the boys went to the beach and play football or went fishing. But one day, they stood on the sand and start stay, stay. Stay. Across the sea. Across the sea at a small island island in the distance. No one lived on the island and the boys had never been there. Good job. Helen. I like to explore that island, said Max. Let's borrow my brother boat and go there, said Jeff. We'll be back before he finds out. The boys rose to the island and left the boat on the... Okay, thank you. On the sand. You have finished sentence. Okay. Sun right? They... They cut trees from in the river and found some cave. At last, they decide to go home. But when they went back to the boat, it wasn't there the boys were Frightened. Frightened, yeah. Like, Frightened. what are we going to do? Ask me. Nobody know. We are here. Good. Thank you. Rafa. Let's make a fire, said Jeff. Someone will see the smoke. But we haven't got any match, said Mac. Mentor. We can head. We can head to rocks together to make a fire. Come on, it's easy. Okay, can you pronounce this one? Matches. Matches. Yeah, you know matches, right? Like make a fire. All right, next one. Come on. But but it was the hmm? yeah, go ahead. But it was dark before the boys had a fire. Suddenly. Suddenly there was a splash. Splash of water. The boys start Cause the sea a dark ship was coming toward them. Okay, finish it. Katun. Run through to the max. Hey, said a voice. Don't don't you want to go home? Jeff Barter was standing on the beach next to the missing boat how did you find us as Jeff in amazement i saw the boat floating near the shore so i am so well all to get it then i saw your smoke and I realize realize what happened. Okay, and realize what happened. Floating, it is a floating shore, like seashore. Okay, we're gonna talk about this next week. Okay, we're going to answer this 
All right. So this is all about today. And then we're going to finish this story next week. Everyone say goodbye and have a good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 B